So how do you create a picture-in-picture -picture effect in your videos? It's actually pretty simple. Let me show you how. All right, so when the shot you just saw, uh, I was yakking and then I moved to the side and then it appeared. So here's how you do that. Grab the video. Start there. There you go. Video only, drop it on the timeline. Obviously this is now covering the entire video underneath it. So click on that top layer go to effect controls and motion. You want to scale that down so it's smaller and it's revealing the video underneath. Now you can move the position in a couple of ways. You can do it like this and just grabbing the, uh, the number here, dragging it to the left or right. Uh, same thing with uh, the up or down. Or you can click on where it says motion. Now you'll see that there are actually uh, handles all around here and you can move it where you want. So if you gotta move it a lot, maybe it's a little bit easier for you if you want to do it this way. Let's get it right here, let's say. Maybe a little bit smaller. There we go. Now, no need to hold down Shift or anything for that. Adobe is smart enough now that it knows that uh, you just want to scale that properly. Right, so click off that. Now, I look over at it. Let me just make sure the line of sight is correct. Yeah, that's good. If I a little bit too close to my face. So click on that clip again. There we go. And of course it faded in. Let's see, uh, I don't mention it until about, about there. Let's have it start then and do a dissolve. Oh, and uh, I held down control and hit D to automatically do that. That's pretty simple. Let me show you how. And it's that easy. Now, if you want to get fancy and do something like this, and be very precise with it. Now you'll grab your clip or whatever it is, bring it over, again, scale it down to the size you'd like it. Move that over. A little cheesy, but in case you want to do it, there you go. So there you go, pretty easy, picture in picture. Really, it's just throwing another image or video on top of your main video file and then just scaling it down so it's small and it's revealing the video file underneath. The one underneath here is, in this case, on the video one track, and then the video or whatever clip you're doing is, is on top of it. Of course, the more you throw on top, um, there you go. <laughs> now you've got this, the still image is on top of the video. Um, you know, there may be instances where you wanna have multiples on here as well. There you go. It's really that easy. If you like that, make sure to subscribe. I have tutorials coming out all the time and I actually have a couple of gear reviews in the works as well. Have a good one.